Women often struggle to orgasm during vaginal sex, but what if I told you science has helped us figure out which positions are more likely to lead to orgasm? Hi, I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and I'm sharing the top four positions scientists have found to be most likely to lead to female orgasm. And make sure you stick around till the end because I also share some techniques that you can use that can dramatically enhance pleasure for female partners. Starting off, I wanna share with you guys a 2022 study and they use 3D models as well as ultrasound to measure how different sexual positions affected blood flow to the clitoris. And blood flow is important, right? Because the more blood flow you have to the clitoris, that means there's greater arousal and a higher likelihood of climax and orgasm. In this study, they also recruited a volunteer couple who tried these five common positions and looked at changes in clitoral blood flow. Based on this and other research, here are the top positions, starting with number one face to face with the woman on top. Now this one is a classic favorite and for good reason. In this position, the woman can control the angle, the depth and the rhythm and her body weight and the thrusting that occurs in this position allows there to be intense pressure on the clitoris. When they looked at ultrasound, they saw dramatic and symmetric increase in blood flow, meaning there's blood flow throughout the clitoris on both sides, making it one of the most orgasm friendly positions. Number two was face to face man on top. And this was especially good when you had a pillow under the woman's hips. This then allows the female pelvis to be tilted upward so that more of the partner's weight and movements can be directed towards the clitoris. And when they did this, they saw again, a really significant and uniform boost in the clitoral blood flow. Again, orgasm is more likely. Now, speaking of using pillows, I have to share with you guys the best gift that my husband ever bought me. It is an eight sleep mattress cover. He bought it for me as a birthday gift a few years ago, and we just upgraded to the newest technology, the Pod Five. It is a smart mattress cover that you put right on top of your mattress, and it has some amazing sleep tech. It basically regulates your body temperature throughout the night for each side of the bed separately. So when my husband wants it cool and I want it warm, it doesn't matter because he can be cold and I won't wake up in the middle of the night freezing. Pod 5 also has AI driven autopilot, which means that it learns your sleep patterns and it automatically adjusts your temperature to optimize your sleep, even if you're doing having things like hot flashes. It monitors your sleep stages, your heart rate variability, and so much more without you having to wear any trackers. It can even even track your snoring and adjust the position of the bed so that it'll improve your snoring. The pod has been clinically proven to lead to one hour of additional quality sleep per night. And this is amazing because for me, I am so busy and I need to be on top of my game each and every single day, making sleep crucial. Now, not only that, sleep is great for naturally boosting testosterone and great for women going through menopause and hot flashes. I literally can't sleep without it. When I go on vacation, I cannot wait to get back to my bed because my sleep is so much better. I'm so excited to partner with Eight Sleep because I am obsessed with this product. So if you want better sleep or you're struggling with night sweats, you have to try this. It is by far my favorite gift from my husband ever. So head over to eightsleep.com slash Dr. Malik and use the code Dr. Malik to get $350 off your very own Pod 5 Ultra. The best part is you get 30 days to try it at home and return it if you don't like it, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. All right, back to our positions. Number three is the coital alignment technique. This is a little variation on missionary, right? So instead of doing the traditional in and out thrusting motion, in this position, both partners are working to shift their bodies slightly higher against each other. So the base of the penis or the pubic bone is pushing directly against the clitoris during penetration. Then instead of thrusting, the couple moves with their pelvises in a rocking motion, sort of sliding their bodies up and down against each other. Now there is a learning curve because it does sort of require you to be in a little bit of a dance, but when it's done right, you've got sustained and continuous and targeted pressure on the clitoris and this is going to really enhance pleasure. The cool part is that research has shown that women who haven't previously reached orgasm during intercourse alone are able to when they utilize this position. Now remember, there's a little bit of a learning curve, so don't get discouraged and just communicate with your partner. Say, hey, I wanna try this thing, let's figure it out together and it could be really amazing. And sex is supposed to be fun. Don't get overwhelmed, don't get stressed out. Number four is sitting face to face. So this position also was shown to increase blood 
flow, but it didn't show as much as the top two. The thrusting, of course, from this position does allow both partners to create some pressure, but there's no gravity directly on the clitoris, so it's not optimal. So there you have it, our top four. But in addition to positions, there are some great strategies that come from research-based analyses of women discussing what they enjoy. So what techniques work the best that you can incorporate in really any position? So techniques like angling, adjusting the hips or pelvis to change the position. Again, using that pillow underneath the hips can be really helpful. Things like that rocking motion we saw in the coital alignment technique. The other one is shallowing, and this is focusing on stimulation just at the entrance of the vagina. And this makes a lot of sense because that area has a ton of nerve endings. And lastly, pairing. So you want to incorporate direct clitoral stimulation during intercourse. That can be with a toy, with a hand, whatever you prefer. She can do it, you can do it. But when you do that, up to 70% of women say that pairing makes stimulation more pleasurable and increases their chance of orgasm. At the end of the day, of course, everybody is different. The key is talking to your partner, experimenting, and listening to your own pleasure. Be in the moment, be present, and enjoy. Don't be afraid to try new things. One, it's gonna add novelty, and two, it might lead to stronger and more intense orgasms. So go ahead, have fun, and play with your partner. As always, we're gonna take care of yourself because you're worth it.